can we please tell our stories? Because we do have African stories. We have African fantasies. We have African myths that do exist and should be bloody told. All right. <laughs> Let me come off the bat by saying that I never agree with race changing any character. I never agree because I view that as trying to score diversity points, which I actually find even much more insulting. <laughs> you know, if you just keep your characters white and so forth, okay, that's, that's fine. Now, trying to change the race of a character because you want to now ride upon the BLM trade and score diversity points, that's actually a lot more insulting. You know, this is what I've always wanted, what I've always said. Give me stories about the Benin Kingdom, Edo Kingdom, Abyssinian Kingdom. I was just reading a story about like the kingdom of Abayakuta, who pretty much created a um, slave safe haven against the sets in characters that the woman king film is, is, is based upon. So why can't we, why can't we to learn about the, the Haitians who pretty much held down against the, the Europeans and said, what's up? So those are the stories I want to see. I don't want to see a black Spider-Man. I don't want to see a black Batman. I don't want to see a black little mermaid. I don't want to see that. But this is complex because so that's being said in me saying that no, just listen, maybe this is white. Just keep our whites. All these people are whites. This is fine. But this now goes to like a deeper thing right now because this is now about African Americans. So you took black people from Africa, cut them off from their history, their culture. So all they know is American what you've given them. So for the African American, what do you have to draw upon? Me as a Nigerian, I don't want to see a black little member and so forth. That that doesn't mean anything to me. I want to see the story about the Edo Kingdom. I want to see the story about the Benin King Kingdom. I want to see the story about oh, why the hell do those English guys steal all those bronze carvings from the Edo Kingdom? I want to hear about the Abyssinian Kingdom. You know, so I want to hear about the about the Haitians. So there are other stories that I want to learn because I'm coming from a different kind of upbringing because I know of the huge amounts of, of history. Can exist from my culture, which is the, the the Benin Kingdom. But for African Americans, they don't have that. It was cut off by the slave masters. Their history was cut off. So for them, they're like, no, it's Little Mermaid, which is pretty much all they know because they don't have any other African history to draw upon. It means something for them to have a black Little Mermaid. And if it was so, so, as I said, I don't, Little Mermaid, keep Little Mermaid white. That's being said. So what you're saying that um I think is it because I know they are twins who are bloody amazing singers by the way. I think her name is I think it's Haley and Chloe, but I think this is Haley because they know they are they are twins. So what you're saying that she isn't attractive? <laughs> so that's, that's what we're saying because she is attractive and she is a bloody amazing singer. They're both, but she's a bloody amazing singer. Okay, this little member is black. Okay, like okay, we're here now again and I said again. Keep little mermaid whites. <laughs> no, let's tell black stories. Let us have black stories because there are a lot of. And again, because this is, is something just African Americans do not know, because their history was stripped away from them. If you talk to anybody that's like Yoruba, because from where I grew up is is it's the Yoruba area of Nigeria. All there are, are stories. <laughs> all Nigerians and Yoruba people do all they tell are super their stories upon stories upon stories upon upon, upon things upon stories. But the machine, the machine Hollywood, they'll always pick out those specific things. So we need to give them one so people can put um a, a light on those stories. So it's a little bit of everything. I think okay, now that we're here and so forth, it's like okay. <laughs> the memory is black and <laughs> okay, like is that really going to because my thinking is, is that really going to ruin your life? Is your life really going to be that much of a mess? Are you not going to be wake, are you not going to be able to wake up in the morning? Are you going to have to go to hospital? Are you going to have a headaches? Are you going to have to see a psychiatrist because Little Mermaid is played by an attractive black woman who is an incredible singer? You know, so okay, it's here. Big deal. <laughs> there are more important things to worry about in this life. Trust me, there are way more important things to worry about. It's like there are, there are kids starving. There are kids who are suffering in war and so forth. So, so, so there are sicknesses, illnesses. There's a lot more 
important stuff to worry about then. This one memory has now been played by an attractive black woman who is an amazing singer. But overarching issue is, can we please tell our stories? Because we do have African stories. We have African fancies. We have African myths that do exist and should be bloody told. Because Africans are amazing storytellers. <laughs> so can we tell those stories and put some money to um, infuse those stories? Because, again, because there's a guy that I, I support. I think he's from the Unique Studios who does the AK comic. And it's, all of his comics and cartoons and everything, all about African fables, African stories, African fantasy. They do exist. But the machine won't allow you to view them. 